Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We are so grateful unto you. We are so thankful unto you for ushering us into another beautiful month. We bless you so much, O oh God. Father, we just want to exalt you. Thank you for the gift of life and thank you for all that, O oh God, you've done for us. This walk, O oh God, in the month of September, we commit into your hands. Please, Lord Jesus, lead us. Hold our hands, O oh God, and lead us, O oh God, even through the fires, the waters, the dry lands, the wet lands, Father, through the storm, oh, Father, and through joy and happiness. Let us never forget you in any of them, but let us rely on you as our source of strength all the days of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Father, we thank you, and we pray, Spirit of God, have your way. Please have your way in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program, How Do You Understand the Word of God? And we'll take a devotional reading from John, the Gospel of John, chapter 8, the verses 54 to 58. John 8, 54 to 58. Let's hear the Word of God. If I want glory for myself, it doesn't count. But it is my Father who will glorify me. You say he is our God, but you don't even know him. I know him if I said otherwise. I would be as great a liar as you. But I do not know, but I do know him and obey him. Your father Abraham rejoiced as he, he looked forward to my coming. He saw it and was glad. The people said, you aren't even 50 years old. How can you say you have seen Abraham? Jesus answered, I tell you the truth. Before Abraham was ever born, I am. Hmm. At that point, they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus was hidden from them and left the temple. He was hidden from them and left the temple. Why? Because his time had not yet come. Brethren in the Lord, these Pharisees and Sadducees always challenged Jesus. But whenever they challenged him, he overcame them with a word. With a word. Jesus is a living example of how we Christians should live. He made sure that whatever statement he made, he glorified the Father in that statement. He did not glorify himself, but he drew the attention to it that it is God who glorifies and he will glorify him. That is when his time is due. Hallelujah. And for sure he went through death, the sinful death on the cross to save us. He resurrected and is glorified, seated at the right hand side of God the Father Almighty. Brethren, he is interceding on our behalf. That is why we need to rely on him. We need to seek his permission before we take any step in life. Jesus' living example or Jesus' lifestyle is a living example for all of us that when we humble ourselves, the Lord will lift us up and the Lord will glorify us. He overcame the enemy with the word of God. And so we also need to humble ourselves and overcome the enemy with the word of God. They did not understand him. They did not know him. They did not know who he was. So they dealt with him anyhow. But we have come to know him by his grace, by his mercy. We do not work for salvation. And he has given us authority to become his children because we have accepted him. Therefore, I pray that anyone who hears my voice and has, a, has not accepted Jesus and is always thinking about what people do, what people say. It isn't everyone that the Lord has called. Anyone mentioning the name of Jesus does not mean that that person knows the Lord. Some know the word they will learn from the Bible and the knowledge they get, they gather, they pretend. Yes, the devil is a pretender and he has hired people who work for him. So do not let somebody's lifestyle push you off 
or put you off. Let's look at Jesus himself. I always say human beings are human beings. Even the words that comes out of our mouth at times offends people. So let us look unto Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith. He has come to deliver us and he is the way to heaven. Yes, leaders are examples unto us, but do not let any leader lead you to hell. Look to Jesus and live. Look to Jesus and strengthen yourself in him. God bless you. If you are home and saying that you are worshipping in your heart, no. Please join other believers so we'll see the glory of God. Amen.